Hey, hello guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, you're going to see how to insert user details to the database. Actually, this video is going to be the continuation of the, my previous video. So what I suggest you is to watch my previous video and also the entire playlist of user authentication in my channel and come back to this video, right? So let us see how we are going to implement this functionality from the front end with the help of JavaScript and jQuery and call the backend API and insert users details to the MongoDB database, right? So guys, this is where we stopped in the previous video. Okay, so when the check validation is true, we are going to insert the users record to the database else we are not going to do anything or display some message to the user right so how are we going to insert a user's record to the mongodb database right so i'm going to take you to the postman so if you see here we are sending this json data as a record to this api and the API is able to capture this data and process it. If the user already exists, it will send us user already exists message. Hence, it will insert this record and create a valid token, JWT token for us, right? So I'm sending this data again, let us see. So we get user already exists because we already have this user in the MongoDB database. I'm showing, I'll show you here, see, this user already exists. So when I send the, when I change this mobile number, okay, you see this user getting inserted again to the database because we are validating this mobile field at the backend as a unique field right so when i click on send this time you will see duplicate key error which is username deepak hoda so even the username should not be the same so i'm changing that to deepak and let us check now when i click on send see the user got inserted and a valid jwt token got created and sent us a response to this request right so what i'm going to do from the front end is I'm going to send this record from the front end, but not like this as an object, right? So what I want to do here is I'm going to create a object called JSON data. Okay. And this variable is going to have all this and this variable is going to hold all the data that we get from the form, right? So I'll show you how we are going to do. So before that, I want to copy this uh, field username, right? So that is the DB field and I'm going to pass first name dot val concatenated with last name dot val, right? So when I, when someone enters the name like this, Naren Appu, right? So it will have Naren space Appu in the database. Okay. So the next field is going to be mobile. So I think the fields are same. So there should not be any mistake in this uh, database fields. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the data will not be inserted to the database. And the next field is going to be role and it is going to be role.val. So all these are variables that we declared in our uh, So all these are variables that we declared in the previous videos. So password is going to be password.val. The last wheel is, is active this active is going to be true when the user inserts the record to the database right so i'm going to call 
insert API from the API slash JS file, right? So the APS, API dot JS, we have uh, ap insert API definition return as a function. So I'm going to call that from the register dot JS file. Okay, insert dot API <coughs> of the URL is going to be this. Right, so before that we are going to have HTTP double slash local host 5000, right? Because the backend runs at the port 5000. Okay, so I'll show you that. See, the backend is running at the port 5000 and the application is still hosted in the local host. And I'm going to send JSON data that we formed before this, right, as a data to this API. So whenever it inserts the data to the database, you're going to get a response, right? So console.log data. And so I'm going to say console.log user registered successfully right also i'm going to store the token to the local storage right set item data dot token okay so we will get the response to this dynamic variable data and inside it as i showed you in postman you see we have two things from the response one is the success true and the next one is token so i'm going to grab this token from the data so that is what i have written here i'm going to send that to the local storage and i'm going to redirect the user to what to the login page right so this is how we do pages slash login dot html okay and the user is registered successfully we are going to do this when the user is not registered successfully i'm going to just console log that user is not registered right so i'm going to save this i go to the front end and Let's see, I'm going to ins ins insert the same data which I have inserted through the postman. Okay, and mobile is going to be this, right? Password, also I'm going to copy this and register as super admin. Confirm password is also going to be this. Okay, and I click on create account now. You see the page is not redirected to login.html and in the inspect, you see role is not defined. Okay, we have some error, role. Yeah, we made a mistake here. It is not role, it is DDL role. Okay. So I enter the record again is going to be Deepak. Mobile is going to be the same. And password, confirm password, super admin. When I click on create account, you see the page is not redirected to login.html. I go to inspect the console. I see it is a bad request, right? So the bad request is when I go to data, you see user already exists, right? This is what we receive from the API. Okay, so when I change the mobile number to three, and also uh, I change the last name Deepak Roda. Okay, so now when I click on create account, there should be two things happening. So the user token should be stored to the local storage and the page should redirect to login.html. 
right? So let us see that. See the page is redirected to login.html and when I go to inspect element and check the application tab, so, so the local storage has a variable called user and it has a value, what? The token that we got from the backend, right? So the user got registered to the database. Let me check in the database. So I have a user inserted here, which is Deepak Roda. The mobile role password got hashed and all the details are stored. So guys, I showed you how to insert a user to the database with the help of backend Node.js API from the front end. Also how to set the token to the local storage right and how to redirect the user to login.html when the user details are stored successfully to the database so i think this video would have helped you a lot in learning the front end back end also the database guys i will see you in the next interesting topic in the next video thank you guys we'll see you in the next video bye